Hi budget people, welcome back to another video. My name is Budgeting Daddy UK. Welcome back to another episode of how people manage their money. So in this episode, I'll be talking about how people learn and how they spend their money. If that is something you are interested in, please do hit that subscribe button. So in today's episode, income one is a male, 37 years old, lives in London, works full time as a pharmacy manager, earning £55,000 a year. Income two is a female, 45 years old, lives in London, Works full time as a doctor, earning £90,000 per year. They have two kids who are 15 and 12 years old, and their total yearly income is £145,000. So, moving on to their monthly income. So, income one after all deductions takes on £3,100 a month, and income two after all deductions takes on £4,900 a month, bringing their total monthly combined income after all deductions to £80,000. So moving on to their expenses, so fixed expenses first. So the mortgage is £3,000 a month, gas and electric is £450 a month, water is £90 a month, council tax £160 a month, TV licence is £13 a month, home insurance is £20 a month, broadband £90 a month, Amazon Prime £8 a month, Netflix £16 a month, phone contracts £170 a month, contact insurance £22 a month, bringing their total fixed expenses to £4,039. Moving on to their variable expenses, groceries is £650 a month, eating out is £500 a month, car repayment £750 a month, food box £50 a month, credit card £100 a month, petrol £500 a month, clothes £500 a month, Subscriptions seventy pound a month, gym seventy five pound a month, personal expenses five hundred pound a month, kids allowance two hundred and fifty pound a month, car detailing three hundred pound a month, charity seventy pound a month, and travel for all the family is nine hundred and fifty pound a month, bring their total variable expenses to five thousand two hundred and sixty five pound. Moving on to the outstanding debt, so the credit card is thirty five thousand pound, and their cars is £62,000, bring their total outstanding debt to £97,000. So if you take their total income which is £8,000 a month, add up both their fixed and variable expenses which adds up to £9,304 a month, take away their income from their expenses they are left with minus £1,304 a month. So every month they go over by a huge amount. So what they need to do is look at all their expenses and start going on to a budget. Look at ways where they can reduce their expenses. For example, in London, I'm not sure why you would need a car, especially if you're spending £950 on travel. So once they start reviewing all their expenses, going on to a budget, that way they'll be able to save a bit of money. And that is it ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video.